Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Love My Poland. Today we're sitting in the garden section of the Nado Cafe here in Częstochowa. And it's my pleasure today to show you a few tips and drinking in Poland successfully. You know, coming from America, when I moved in 1999 to Poland, I hadn't had any experience really in drinking hard alcohol. Maybe a beer at a barbecue here and there, and that was pretty much it. So when I first came here, drinking something like vodka was very intimidating to me. I thought there's no way with my weak head that I could ever keep up with the people at the party. So I want to also state that here in Poland, you know, we get a bad rap internationally for being a heavy drinking country, and it's just not true. I've had a few instances of people who drink too much or abuse alcohol, but for the most part, people drink socially, they drink moderately, and there's no problem with it. So I want to go ahead and just use this video to say that it's nothing like what the stereotype says it is internationally. So let's get in to nine tips that you need to know when it comes to drinking at a Polish party or event. To begin with, before I get into these nine tips, I want to say that if anybody ever wants to go to a party and not have anything to drink, if you're very much against that, you have to prepare yourself with a very, very good excuse. For example, the doctor said, it's absolutely forbidden, I can't have anything to drink, it's against my health, or my wife is going to kill me if I try to drink something. Those two excuses are very common and very good. So it is possible to get out of drinking at a party, but you have to have a good excuse. So let's start with a number one tip for what you should do or what you shouldn't do when you drink at a Polish party with Polish people. The number one thing to know is that you're not allowed at a party to pour your own drink, usually, typically. I've been to parties in the countryside and in the city, and if someone is hosting a party, it's very, very important to let that host pour the first shot of vodka. So if the host has a bottle, for example, of Wyborowa vodka like I have here, you must let him or her pour your first shot. They're going to open it up there, and they're gonna pour your glass all the way to the top, just like so. Very important to know that. Let the host pour your first shot, very important. Don't try to do it yourself. I made that mistake at a party and 15 people looked at me like I had committed the most heinous crime possible. Let the host pour your drink. Staying on that point, it's also not good to pour your own drink in some situations because you don't want to look too eager to drink. This is especially true in the countryside. If you're pouring your own drink, you're looking like you're, you have too much desire to drink and you might be an alcoholic. So it's good to kind of keep a little bit of reserve, especially at the beginning. The second point that's very, very important is when it's time to drink, the host, you have to wait for the host. The host is going to raise the glass and he's going to usually say na zdrowia or we're going to drink for a certain purpose. So we're going to drink for the birthday girl here, whatever the case may be. You have to raise Raise your glass and wait for him to initiate the drink. And while doing so, when they say Nazdrovia, you're going to nod at the host first of all, nod at everybody else that's at the party, and then consume your shot. Very important to remember that. At the beginning, many, many mistakes. The third point that's very, very important to remember is when you drink a shot of vodka, they're going to fill it, like I said, to the very, very top of the glass. Don't even think about cheating. You have to drink the entire shot from top to bottom. I've been caught in the past kind of going halfway, and someone at the table almost always notices that. They take the bottle of vodka, they fill it back up to the top again, and I have to start all over again and drink from the beginning. So, again, this might differ, it might vary depending on where you are in Poland, but in my experience, which has been in the city and in the countryside, I've had problems when I didn't drink the whole shot of vodka. So drink the entire shot of vodka or else. Now at larger parties, it may happen when you have 50 people, 100 people, maybe up to 200 people at the party, every table is going to have a designated alcohol pourer. And many, many times I've been chosen to be that particular guy. And it's important to know something. When you're pouring a bottle of vodka, I've got those, somebody's vodka glass right here in front of you. You must remember, if you're going to pour the vodka, to put your hand on the right side, hold the glass, and fill it up this way. Many, many times when I've filled up a vodka glass, I've kind of tried to wine pour it, and boy, I get ridiculed for that. You cannot wine pour a bottle of vodka. You have to have their hand on top, glass up or on the table, fill it to the top. We go around and round and go. Now, most of the time I have a vodka glass like this kind of overflowing, very normal. If you get a glass like that that's just spilling all over your hand, you're at a good party in Poland. The fifth point is when you're drinking, it's important also to remember when you're drinking, don't just drink. You have to eat in between these shots. I tried at the beginning to just drink straight. I didn't eat very much and it didn't end well for me at the first wedding party. So a lot of fatty foods, you're gonna have kielbasa, you're gonna have something which is like a gelatin, chicken, gelatin, beef kind of mix. Eat fatty foods, eat sausages, eat smalets, like I talked about in an earlier video. Mix in some fatty food with your drinking or like I said, it's not gonna go very well. Eat and drink together. 
Now the sixth point I'd like to talk about is not mixing your drink, especially if you're a man. Women can make kind of a cocktail at the table and get away with that, but sometimes when you have a chaser like orange juice here to kind of accompany your vodka, I'll drink it down a bit like so. And when nobody's looking, I'll take that vodka and I'll kind of mix it in. Now I've been caught doing that. Somebody shouted at me a few times about that one. You cannot, if you're a guy, make a mixture with your vodka into the juice. I've seen it. I've seen international people do it. It's a big no-no in Poland. Vodka is to be consumed 100% from the glass, one shot at a time, if you're a man especially. Another thing I would advise you not to do is drink something, if you're a man, with a straw. I like drinking with a straw. I grew up in the U.S. drinking everything with a straw. But here, it doesn't look so good if you're a guy. Drinking a drink with a straw is kind of a no-no. That's been my experience. But again, if you're in a bigger city like Warsaw, these rules probably could have loosened over the years, so it could be different. But just kind of keep that in mind. Is it okay to drink a drink with a straw? In my experience, absolutely not. So be careful with that. The seventh thing that you need to know about going to a Polish party with a lot of drinking is songs are eventually going to break out. This is very normal and now it's very nice. I know a lot of the good folk songs they sing and when people have had a few drinks already, they start getting into kind of a all sing-along melody chorus in the wedding party or whatever party it may be. And it's nice, it's part of Polish culture to sing along with everybody. The eighth thing is kind of a, one of these unusual aspects of Poland that I'm still trying to completely understand. You know, you've got husbands and wives, boyfriends and girlfriends who have been together for years and years. And it never fails. The boy and the girl, the husband and wife come to the party, they sit down. The man says, I'm drinking today with the boys. The wife says, okay. But at the end of the party, I would say eight times out of 10, the woman is offended with a man's behavior. She's offended, she crosses her arms, she refuses to talk to him or look at him. All the time it's like that. At every party, the wife goes home usually, angry with the husband for his behavior after drinking. I don't understand that. Maybe you Polish people can help me understand by commenting in the comment section on that. The ninth thing I'd like to say is a compliment to Polish people. Growing up in America and going to a few parties there, I saw several of my friends drink and drive. And it's so irresponsible. It's dangerous for themselves. It's dangerous for their passengers. But here in Poland, I've seen so much responsibility when it comes to this point. Polish people always have a backup plan for transport. They've got everything prearranged. They come to the party, and if it's a husband or wife or a boyfriend or girlfriend, they have prearranged who is going to drink and who is going to drive. It never fails. If they both want to drink, they have a taxi ready to go or they have some kind of private transport arranged. It's amazing and kudos for you Polish people for that. So in conclusion, I would like to state again that Polish people are responsible with alcohol. I don't see a lot of alcoholism here. Uh, you'll see things from time to time, but what people believe about Poland on the outside is so far from being true. Poles are moderate drinkers, they are social drinkers, they are responsible with alcohol. So when you come to Poland, you have a party, this is something to remember. I hope these nine tips have been somewhat fascinating for you. Thank you for watching and I invite you to watch the upcoming episodes. Don't forget to subscribe.